Good morning, Speaker. Which items would you like to speak on? <laughs> well, um, all items in the general comment period. <laughs> so you have three minutes the, yeah. for your items and one minute for general public comment. Um, as a reminder, the items that are open for public comment are yes. one through four, 46 through 51, and 57. Please begin with the items. That's all right. <laughs> well, go ahead. Well, item one. Finally, we're going to be able to take a successful shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, a sanitary sewer is being dug. This was really suggested by Kevin. Back when he watches some of these meetings, he feels like taking some form of relief. <laughs> and I agree. Yes on item number one, flush that toilet and put it down there where it belongs. <laughs> and then a number two, thank you Tracy Beach Knee Park for bringing us sewers. Finally, in Venice, we can flush the toilet, urinate, and take a successful shit. And all of those homeless can flush all their drug needles down there successfully without overflow. Let's give her a hand. Hey, that's good. I thought it was illegal to do that. Well, they violate the Clean Water Act all the time. Then we get to number three. It gets more exciting. CD number five, Katie Cunt Yaroslavsky also wants a successful flushing. <laughs> yes, on that one. And then CD number two, the Armenian Grosso Herder. <laughs> the petty pink skin dictator wants us to also flush effectively and carefully. Flushing the shit. <laughs> and that's good, because that fat wife of his takes a big one every now and then, and it clogs the sewer system. Flush. <laughs> Flash. <laughs> and then we get to Tracy Park's important item in McCosker. Executive compensation. Well, executive compensation is important. And I support unlimited executive compensation. <laughs> well, why is that? Well, I'll see, Kevin, what happened was the city's medical executive compositors knew that current price was married not to his real wife, and they still paid her benefits. <laughs> and then the city was asked, do you want reimbursement? And the executive said, nah, that's okay. I pay you off anyway. So yes, we support that. And you want to limit their compensation? What will these executives do without their private jet? What will they do without their expense accounts? What will they do without their $1,000 night hotel and bottle exemption at the Ritz-Carlton? <laughs> How will they get their prostitutes? <laughs> oh, look, I'm, I'm getting Mr. Marchese's attention when I mention booze and prostitutes. <laughs> yes, so I'm against it. And Tracy, you're a Republican. And McCosker, you're just a corporate scumbag. Vote no on this motion and stop this fascism. <laughs> General public And comment. now we get to the item. Friday at 1 o'clock Pacific time, the soap opera will continue as the current price turns. Do, 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 do. Yes, it will be held not on remote, in person only on a Friday 1 o'clock. And it's only going to be Marchese. One indictment away from the presidency. Conflict of interest. Hey, you're right. And also, the great one, the mighty Armenian park skin grosser herder. And they will together decide to suspend another council member, just like they did to Kevin de Leon. And that's unfair. We want a conflict of interest waiver. <laughs> we want eight council members appointed to the committee, and we want full remote public comment. <laughs> so... I'm not going to call Paul Martin Krikorian a pink skin bitch piece of shit. No, I'm going to end on a high note. I will merely politely say, fuck you. Thank you. Your time has expired. Let's go. I've